Hi everyone, welcome back to the Youth Mappers QGIS workshop series. In this session, I'm going to be showing you how you can add labels to your map. Let's get started. So here I have a map of the United States as well as some a shapefile for Canada and Mexico. And I am wanting to have each of the states labeled with their name. So I'm going to just walk you through the process of how you can add labels to your map. So the first thing you want to do is open up the attribute table of the layer with the data you want to label. So in this case, it is the US state boundary layer over here. I'm going to open up the attribute table and I want to name, have each individual state labeled with its name. So over here, I'm going to look for the column that has the names of all of the states here. If you are naming, no matter what data you are trying to name, you are going to be naming it based off of a column in your attribute table. So if you don't have the column with the information that you want labeled on your map, it's not going to be able to work. So I am going to remember that the information I want is in the column titled name. Next, I'm going to right click on the layer I want to name and click properties. On the left hand side, there is a tab called labels. So I'm going to select that. And then from the drop down here, I'm going to select single or I'm going to select rule based labeling. I'm going to click the plus sign down here to create a new rule for labels. And I am going. So I'm going. So on the left hand side, I'm going to select the tab that says labels. And from here, I'm going to click the drop down and select single labels. This will populate with the tab. And at the top, you can see the word value and it provides a drop down with all of the different columns that are included in the attribute table. So I'm going to ha going ahead and I know that the information that I want labeled is held in the column titled name. So I'm going to select that. And now I can format what I want the actual text to look like. So for the text, I can choose the font that I want. I'll select Avenir. And I can choose the size 12. And I want the color to be a, let's say, I want it to be a dark gray. So I'm just going to adjust that and then click OK. And then I want to have a buffer, which will sort of create a halo effect around the text. So I'm going to select the button that says draw text buffer. The size one millimeter will work well. And then I'm going to adjust the opacity so it's not a very stark halo. So I'll reduce it to 80. And then I'm going to go to the placement. And there's a bunch of different rules or ways that you can place the text um, from around the centroid, offset, etc. So around the centroid usually works best, I think. As you can see over here, on the East Coast, some of the states are very small, so it will automatically adjust for that. And then you can change the distance if you want it a little bit offset from the centroid, etc. But for right now, I'm just going to keep it simple um, and leave it as is. And then for right now, that should be good. So I'm going to click Apply. 
So after I click apply, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And for the most part, this looks good and works for the map I'm trying to make. As you saw, there are many different options and ways that you can get more detailed in the way you're formatting, but this is a general, simple overview on how to apply labels to your map. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.